Hey cruisers, if you've ever dreamed of a romantic wedding at sea, this episode is for you. Many cruise lines offer a variety of wedding packages and services to help you plan the wedding event of your dreams. And we're excited to share with you today what five things you need to know if you're considering a wedding at sea. We've partnered with our friend and travel agency partner, Wendy, from Dream Vacations to bring you some great tips. If you want more info or are considering a wedding at sea, Wendy is an expert in weddings and group cruises. Even better, she herself got married at sea, so she knows the ins and outs firsthand. We'll link to her website in the description below so you can get in touch with her. Okay, so here are the five things we think you'll want to consider if you are considering getting married at sea. Brides and grooms continually report that getting married on a cruise ship is one of the most stress-free ways to tie the knot. Think about it. The cruise line handles lots of the little details for you, like flowers, the cake, the bar, hors d'oeuvres, and even photography. And in some cases, you can even include a built-in honeymoon as part of the festivities. Cruise ship weddings are coordinated as packages, so you simply have less to worry about when you get married on the high seas. With some lines, you'll even receive your own custom web page that can be used to create your registry, email announcements and save the dates, invitations, track those RSVPs, plus share and print photos. Stress-free wedding planning is a good thing. So there's a reason why this was our number one point today. The next cool thing you should know about nautical nuptials is that you can get married on the ship or at a port destination. In fact, with most cruise lines, there are actually three options for your wedding. We'll use Princess Cruise Line's wedding offerings as an example. With Princess Cruises, you can tie the knot at sea in a ceremony performed by the captain while in international waters. Or you can get married harbor side prior to the cruise in the embarkation port. This option provides the opportunity to invite guests just for the day, or they can even come along for the cruise. Just be aware that the bride and groom will be required to stay on the ship for the cruise that begins the day of the wedding. Does that make sense? Lastly, the third option, you can tie the knot ashore in a romantic wedding location from a beach in the Caribbean to the Alaskan wilderness. The cruise ship just takes you there. The next thing you should know about cruise weddings is that on some cruise lines, guests can come just for the wedding day. That's the harbor side option we mentioned earlier to that wedding on the ship. A few things to be aware of if you're choosing that option though. First up, you will likely have a guest limit if you choose the harbor side option. For example, Carnival allows up to 50 guests on board just for the day. So you may need to narrow down that guest list. Also be aware that some of your guests who would have normally attended a land-based wedding may choose not to attend. Just something to take into consideration. They might look at it like you're eloping. Another important thing you should know is that cruise-based weddings can be surprisingly affordable. A cruise-based wedding is a great value when compared to a traditional land-based ceremony and reception, largely due to the fact that the services are all bundled and packaged by one provider, which in this case is the cruise line. Also, cruise wedding prices don't tend to vary much with the season, so there's no worrying about booking a cruise during the least expensive time of year. Unlike land-based weddings, where there's a peak season or where a Saturday wedding can often cost you a lot more. With that said, we don't suggest that you necessarily choose the cheapest cruise for your wedding at sea either. Splurging for a nice ship and a great itinerary can be a great way to spoil your guests and create some great wedding memories. Finally, we want to mention that an experienced travel agent can be enormously helpful in planning your cruise wedding. Travel agents who specialize in cruise weddings have relationships with the cruise lines and wedding planning knowledge that is priceless for brides and grooms looking to plan their special day at sea. Once your travel agent gets your group sailing set up, they can connect you, the bride and groom, directly with your wedding coordinator who can take the little details off your hands and let you focus on the fun stuff like picking the perfect wedding dress. 
just be sure to enroll your travel agent in the cruise booking process before you book your room or before you contact the cruise line wedding department so your travel agent can give you the benefit of a group booking and help you choose the right cruise and date and stateroom from the very start. Thank you so much for tuning into this special episode. Be sure to check out Wendy's information in the description below to get started. And if you got married on a ship, we'd love to hear your wedding story in the comments below. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.